So when did you really start to see some of that shift in business? Um, It took a while. I'll be honest. It was like an internal struggle. I think I was fighting it for a really long time because I, I wanted, you know, I wanted to be, you want to be accepted in whatever community you're kind of immersing yourself in. So I found myself wanting to be accepted in this Amazon community and I have been, but that was kind of weighing more of my decisions than my business. So I would say that it really, it, it, it kind of started evolving as I started my content marketing agency, because then I realized that like, you know, I don't have a coach behind me. I don't have anyone like, you know, telling me how to do things. Like I am a sole proprietor running my own agency. I have to figure things out and stand on my own two feet. So I think it took a couple of years, but I finally just got to this place where I was like, okay, (laughs) you know, this is, this is who I am. This is what I have to offer. And hopefully that resonates with the right people at the right time. Mm -hmm. I really think that once we step into that and we just own it for ourselves, these chip on our shoulder kind of thing. It's not really a chip, but it might be something holding us back just tends to start to crumble. You hold your head up a little higher and it's not an arrogance. It's just a confidence. It's like, you know what? I finally know who I am, what I'm offering to the world and um, how I can serve and help people with the knowledge and uh, services that I have. And I think that people really connect with that. And they, they, that comes through with messaging and marketing and also just your genuine self. When you show up as your genuine self, you can't fake that people will see see right right through it and so as we continually show up in this world um and in the amazon space as our authentic selves um the people that are supposed to be working with us will will find our messaging and kind of resonate with it and go with us when there's many other options and let's talk about that because we know in amazon um it is a male dominated industry it has for many years it's one of the reasons in 2014 that i started my own podcast and my own show and my own teaching and training it wasn't and i'm not a anti-men or anything like that so i just want the audience to realize that we're not going to man bash or anything but we're just simply pointing out the differences when i started in amazon there were no female teachers they were um white males 40 plus 30 plus you know around that age teaching all this amazon stuff and i was like i am a stay-at-home mom with two kids underfoot and my husband has like a feast or famine job so i'm like trying to make ends meet help with that try to you know take care of my kids at the same time and the struggle is real it's a different struggle um for someone who's doing it full time and it's their job and they can spend nothing but their 40 hours on that job it creates a different dynamic and so um i'd love your take a little bit on how it's been to navigate that sort of male dominated industry. Right. Well, I'll just be honest, it's been difficult. It hasn't necessarily been easy. Um, But I think aligning yourself with a great community of women is really important in your e-commerce journey, whatever entrepreneurial journey you're taking, um, women that you really resonate with and look up to. Um, And there's some empowerment in that that can help you build your own self-empowerment along your journey. Um, But yeah, it's been a little bit challenging. You know, I've um, experienced... (laughs) I've experienced a variety of different things with men in e-commerce. Unfortunately, you know, oftentimes I'm judged by what I look like. And that is kind of an ultimate cursor for like what I have to offer in my business. And I've just realized that I just have to push past it. I don't focus on it. I don't dwell on it. But at the same time, I definitely recognize it, you know, and I'm just like, you know what, this deal isn't for me. I think I'm just going to go down this direction, um, maybe do, uh, you know, a different alignment with other people um, and just authentically operating in that sense, right? Like see something, say something, but in terms of internally, when you have like a red flag kind of go up, notice that red flag. You're, you're not necessarily wrong. Just notice it and kind of move past it. So that's kind of the approach that I've taken. Um, I've been a little bit um, surprised by a lot of these Amazon conferences and events that they are seemingly kind of catered more to men. Um, And I understand the demographic there, right? Like a large uh, percentage of people, you know, running these Amazon businesses are male and that's great. But at the same time, like, let's start thinking about what can we do to attract the female market? You know, the market like yourself who has children and is running a busy household, like what would it take to get this demographic at an Amazon event even once or um, every one to two years, right? Like, I think that we've come a long way, but I think that there's a little bit more room for improvement in making some inclusivity in the space. Mm-hmm. 